Hi and welcome to this video on mail spoofing. So this video is primarily aimed at fast service customers but there is information in here that will help everyone. So we're going to talk about mail spoofing and how you can stop it and the first thing we need to understand is what actually happens when you send the mail. So as a fast service customer when you send an email from your email address the fast SMTP server which is just the mail sending server sends the email to your recipient's mail server. Mail spoofing is when someone sends an email and pretends to be you. An inherent problem with email is that anyone can change the from field in an email to whatever they want. You could pretend to be Bill Gates at Microsoft.com, for example. Mail spoofing happens when someone uses a different SMTP server to send an email pretending to be you. It's important to note that they couldn't use the Fastos SMTP server in this example because they wouldn't have your mailbox password. And our SMTP server requires that you authenticate before you're able to send mail. So how do you stop it? Well, fortunately, every server that sends an email has an IP address. And this means that we can use DNS to make sure that the receiving servers are able to check which IP address email has come from. And I'll go into that in a bit more detail now. As a fast host customer, the only way you can stop spoofing is by using an SPF record. Now, there are other ways to stop spoofing. Uh, there's something called DKIM and there's DMARC, which I will cover later in this video, but they aren't available to you as a fast host customer at present. So the first thing we're going to look at is SPF, and you can see an example on the screen here. So SPF uses a DNS TXT record to tell receiving servers where the email should have come from. If the email has not come from where it's supposed to, it should be rejected. So you can see an example on the screen here, and I will add a link to a, a, a website that helps you generate these and explains the different parts. But the important thing for now is the IP address you can see there. So 213.171.216.0/24. That last bit, .0/24, means the entire range from .0 to .255 would be included in the safe senders list. Now that gets added to our DNS records, so all the receiving servers can see it. If you're feeling really confused, don't worry. We've got a really useful a step-by-step -step guide of how to set up SPF records for your domain and I'll link that in the video description. Now what happens now once you set that, S set that up SPF record up if someone tries to spoof your email address they'll send it from an IP address that isn't listed in your SPF record the receiving server will see that it's coming from an IP address that's not permitted and it will reject it and it shouldn't get delivered to that recipient in the first place so you're protected now as a fast customer this is your only option however I will talk about DKIM and DMARC just for completion there are two other mail security protocols that are worth being aware of as a domain owner. I'll cover them briefly here, but I would recommend doing further research. There's DKIM and DMARC. DKIM is a, a more secure version of sending mail because you, your sending mail server will digitally sign every email you send and you put a public key in your public DNS that everyone can see. When someone receives an email, the receiving server will check the public key against a digital signature. If it matches, they know the mail is legitimate. Another benefit of DKIM is it also guarantees that email hasn't been altered since being sent. Fastos don't currently offer DKIM as it requires the servers, the sending servers, to be able to digitally sign those emails. DMARC is a policy more than a protocol so it extends SPF and DAKM by allowing a domain owner to tell receiving servers what to do with an email if either of the checks fail. This is the end of the video hopefully it's been helpful thanks very much for watching goodbye for now